We're now going to take some time to add a button to the marketing section that we just created. So what I'm going to do is just select this paragraph line that I've got here and hit return to create a new line and then add another paragraph. And this is where we're going to add the button inside here. So buttons are just created on links. What makes it a button is when we add a class to it. So we give it the class button and then we give it some extra properties and we're going to explore exactly what these are in just a moment. So my button just has the label get it now. I'm not actually linking anywhere because this is just for demonstration purposes. But we've created a large button and we've created something in Bootstrap which is called a primary button. So let's take a look at exactly what a primary button is. So the primary button is in the blue color and it's a large button. It's not the regular size button or a small button. It's one of the larger ones that Bootstrap has. These are Bootstrap's specific classes which allow it to style up the buttons. Let's go back and explore some of the other features of this. Back into the code, instead of primary, I could put default in here. So again, we go back and have a look and the default is just a white button. So if you've got a white background, it's not gonna stand out at all. But if you've got a darker color background, it stands out. It actually works pretty well against the background we've got here. We've also got the success button. And if we look at the success button, this should be a green button. Makes it look like you've done something very successfully there. And the info button gives us a nice light blue button. The warning is an orange button. Danger is red. And finally, we can actually make it look just like a regular link. So a number of different options there that enable us to style the buttons in very specific ways. We actually want it to be the primary button, the darker blue button. As well as large, we could also add in here, small. And now you can see it's a little smaller than it was before. There's also extra small, so it'll go down again, a little bit smaller. It's much tighter now around the text, but we'll make it a large, which gives a large padding around it and makes it look much better. Okay, so we'll have a look at this as it shrinks down to smaller sizes, and you can see exactly what happens to it as it gets down to smaller sizes. So it breaks at this point on the very small size screens, but before that it remains two columns. So that's this marketing section completely finished now and we've explored all about the buttons that we have available to us in Bootstrap as well.